Welcome to Micro, a podcast for short but powerful writing. I'm your host, Drew Hawkins. Static, sweat, and butterflies. Sparks fly in this episode in an ode to shapes and chemistry. Our first piece begins with an epigraph and then takes it to its illogical conclusion. And we're always in favor of cloud poems. This one is called You Freak Me by Paula Harris and published in SWIM, that's S-W-W-I-M, for supporting women writers in Miami. Enjoy. You Freak Me, which starts with the epigraph, Butterflies in my pants got ants in my heart, which is from a song by Supergroove called You Freak Me. Bees in the belfry, bats in my bonnet, a drop in the rough, a diamond in the ocean, hell in a pod, peas in a handbasket. True fact, one of Saturn's moons looks like a round ravioli, not a square one. Or that glitters cannot change its spots, a leopard is not gold. A little knowledge is a joy forever, a thing of beauty is a dangerous thing. In for a barn door, in for a pound, shutting the penny after the horse has bolted. True fact, the average cloud weighs the same as 83 elephants. A small cloud is two elephants. Let's press into shape. Come, lick me into service. Let's make pie while the sun shines. Come, be my hay in the sky. Paula Harris lives in Aetoria slash New Zealand. Her writing has been published in various journals, including The Sun, Hobart, Passages North, and Aetoria Erotica. You can find her on Twitter at Paula Off Kilter, on Instagram at Paula Harris underscore poet, or on Facebook at Paula Harris Poet. In our next piece, Shards, Dust, and Rain coalesce in this beautifully vivid moment by Praise Azawahu. Published in Honey Literary, it's called Off 19th Street. Enjoy. Off 19th Street. You come over when an orange blow encroaches upon a section of the morning sky. Selling the night it is unwelcome, and so you embrace the day with avidity. My new apartment is a republic of dirt, dust, and cobwebs, a displeasing present. But you tenderly offer a hand, then lunge and yank the broom for me, leaving me incapable of denying your offering. Time promises an unending stream of seconds, like a waterfall, and all we do is paddle and part our lives into slices for one another. Everywhere is spotless and organized, when without warning, the window reveals grey clouds. The roof chants and I decipher a downpour. The rain is heavy and unwilling to cease. I propose you stay the night. It begins with a bump and an apology, prolonged gazing, and soon we are dressed in bed, our skin somehow managing to sweat, when the atmosphere hosts a numbing chill. You rebound off me non-stop. I wheeze in shed light, a ritual of warm bodies. Lightning stretches, blinking white into my darkened room. The rumbling scares my lamp away from the nightstand, and it shatters upon impact with its out floor. For a moment, my attention is fused, like the way the night swipes the sky from the day. You pound my face and say, don't worry, I'll clean it up later, and your breasts hold my gaze as a drop trickles down your sternum. Wow. 
Praise Asawahu, a writer and editor of Beanie Descent, has works in Faya, Frontier Poetry, and Downriver Road, among others, and is the winner of the 2021 Valiant Scribe Poetry Prize. You can find him on Twitter and Instagram at WordsmithPraise, on Facebook at Praise Asawahu, or on his link tree at WordsmithPraise. Peach schnapps, mercury, and friction. How will you know there's chemistry? Well, Sarah McPherson answers in her piece aptly titled When You'll Know, which was published in the Ellipses scene. Enjoy. When You'll Know When the raindrops shimmer under the streetlights like the little balls of mercury you poked with one finger so they skittered across the desk, even though the teacher warned you not to, but you couldn't care less what she said, or about the rain soaking your hair and your clothes now. When the fire in your belly and chest flares bright, like the bundle of stolen magnesium strips your best friend set light to round the back of the science labs, and you all gasped and shielded your eyes and told her she was the best, just the best. When you huddle in the bus shelter and pass a bottle of peach snaps back and forth, eyeing each other and giggling as you swig and the sticky sweetness of it burns as you swallow and makes you feel grown up and daring. When you glue yourselves together like the leftover party balloons you rubbed on your jumpers and stuck to the wall like magic, passed over your heads like talismans, hair rising to meet the invisible force tingling in the air. When finally your lips meet and you feel the heat that has been building in both of you, an exothermic reaction that throws you off balance and changes you, deep down, into something new. Sarah McPherson is a Sheffield-based writer and poet, with work published in the Ellipses Zine, Splonk, The Cabinet of Heed, Janus Literary, Best Microfiction 2021, and elsewhere. You can find her on Twitter at summer underscore moth, or on her website at theleadedwindow.blogspot.com. That's our show, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. Micro is edited and curated by Dylan Evers and produced and hosted by me, Drew Hawkins. Our theme song is by Matt Ordez. You can find more of our shows on LitHub, on our website at micropodcast.org, or wherever you listen to podcasts. And definitely check out our new interview series called Five Cues with Kirsten, where Kirsten Renault interviews writers who were featured on the show. She talks to them about their work, their writing process, uh, and really anything that comes to mind for her. They're all really short, and they're really great, and we know you'll like them. We've got a full transcript of this episode up on our website and subtitles in case you need it on our YouTube page, and you can find links to that on our website as well. Check out the show notes for links to the pieces that were featured on this episode, and be sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Podcast Micro. Thanks so much for listening.